you power up your weapons and watch everybody freak out in a wild panic. <laughs> Hello and welcome everyone, my name is Sparrow Jenny, sexy sexy Sparrow And we're back to Convoy, a Mad Max game mixed with FTL, you probably already know that from the previous episodes On this episode, my objective is gonna be getting the multicellulose infused ethanol, which is 19 kilometers away I've just now wondered, many many people measure distance in miles, don't you? I guess this is proper suited for people from Europe, that's why it has kilometers. And I just noticed that the distance decreased by one kilometer, and I didn't even move. Am I teleporting? Torvac patrol is nearby. Let's see if they got what we're after, Donnie exclaimed. So we're gonna have to fight with no other option. So here we go. Last time I've been in the camp, I got, let's see, this guy has a new turbo, I believe. And my MCV has this fantastic super heavy laser. I am excited to use this one. So let's get this rolling. Let's see where they come from. They come from the bottom. So you're gonna move over here and start fighting at that guy. Look at this guy's range, man. I'm not exactly sure what he has equipped. He has two cannons and one shield. He shouldn't have this much range, but I believe I improved his handling. Not handling, the range. That's why he has such a huge range. So you're gonna go over here and focus this guy. You're gonna go over here and focus this guy as well. Let's see where they come from. I didn't pause the game. I don't know what happened there. The game paused for a second. And let's see, let's pretty much stun this guy. And let's use the cannon over here. Look at that. Actually, I know I wanna know where old B has a shield though. I should have used the stun on this guy. Let's focus this guy then. Let's see how this goes. If we have something in front of or between the chill between our laser and our target, that guy will be hit. Uh, the laser didn't go f off. Why? Must I target people without a shield? Is that it? Does it need to charge? Oh, I got stunned. That's why my MCV skills are not going off. So you're gonna stun this guy. You're gonna focus that guy. I mean, you're not really in range. So move over there. There we go, perfect. But we need to get the shield out of that guy as soon as we can. Our MCV is stunned. Let's take the shield out of this guy, and you're gonna focus this guy. There we go, perfect. Cuteness overload. More like killer overload. Look at that laser and the damage it did. Amazing. Will it stop firing now, or can I choose another target? I hope this doesn't hit my tank over there. Look at that thing, lovely. I love the destruction on that thing. That's gonna be very useful against the boss. Because I know this, the boss spawn a lot of mobs that you get, must get rid of before focusing the boss himself. I'm talking about the final boss, by the way. This is kind of a spoiler. But um, you people already know if you've been watching other videos and if you've been playing yourself. Uh, I don't want to get this guy hit by the laser. There you go. I think it was getting hit by it. I gotta be careful with that. So, you know, it is good having that cannon, but you gotta be very carefully using it, or you might hit your own jeeps. So that guy is done with. This was a, a warm-up battle. You've destroyed the Torvac patrol. You find some loot in the wrecks. Donnie starts scrounging through the parts. Jackpot! I've got the parts I need to construct the Rintaro microwave, which is the device we need to produce the ethanol. Let's head back to Rhinos and we'll see what we can do. Great! Let's get back to him though. And I believe that, yeah, he's very far, so we might want to do something meanwhile. What I really want to do right now is getting back to the camp. I always like to focus the camp when we fight in a battle so that I can repair my items back, my, my vehicles, I mean. Uh, I have a good amount of gasoline. We're cool for now. Let's leave the camp and in the future Maybe focus on getting another vehicle if we can Sonic screws are to the south actually everything is to the south so And the closest thing is Getting back to Ronin, so I might want to do that. Let's see. Let's get this distract signal You know you're not forced to do these side quests, but you're gonna have to do them if you want to level up your convoy in order to defeat the last boss. You see a few 
transport vehicles in the distance. Hmm. Such a transport trap. Head over to them! You approach them? A great deal of people are sitting outside their vehicles. They don't look particularly well armed. There are women and children amongst them. One man in particular waves at you to get your attention. Hear him out. Thank God! Some other people! We're part of the KGL trading company and we were en route to deliver some shipments. So we're stranded here in need of fuel. I don't suppose you'd care to help us out. We'll make it worth your while. Traders, huh? How about we just kill you and load your cargo? You power up your weapons and watch everybody freak out in a wild panic. <laughs> With every shot you fire, the screams die out until eventually there's nobody left. Investigate the wrecks. So we got 13 gasoline and 48 m mats. And a taunter as an item. Great! Dude, I'm an outlaw. I chose to be an outlaw in convoy and I will stick to it. Something in me tells me, go back being a good person, but no! I'll be an outlaw. I'll be Mad Max. Mad Max was actually a good guy. He just turned a little bit evil because of what happened in the in the movie. I don't, don't just don't want to spoil it for you. Just go back and watch it. Evidently, they don't seem happy with the way you are armed and decide to attack you. The Torvac, these guys are panicking each time they see me because I am so well armed myself. Okay, so you're gonna focus this guy, you're gonna focus this guy, and you're gonna go back here and focus this guy as well. Let's focus entirely that guy. You are gonna wreck this guy over here. Do we need to relocalize? Let's put the shield up. Uh, there we go. And let's stun, let's see, let's stun this guy. Do we, ch do we need to relocalize? the fire on this guy, and I'm not entirely sure. Because this is a very good combo. Stun him and then use the laser. There we go! He can completely destroy his target if it is stunned and if it doesn't move. Which is amazing. Now, I could probably move this over here if I can. There you go. He has a long range as well. But it wear off. Uh, he has... How much time does it last? 60 seconds reload. That's the cooldown. But I was interested in knowing how much time does it last firing up? I guess that was like, what, five seconds, maybe six? So you guys are gonna focus this one. It's just a shame that the game doesn't quite update the target. I mean, you have to do it all. I guess that gives you more interaction and more things to fiddle with. But it would be cool if at the same time your jeeps would, uh, you know, if they don't have any target at all, they would update the target. There you go. This was a <laughs> this was a very easy battle. I mean, these guys are not proving any challenge at all. Medium railgun, take loot. Hell yeah. We'll keep fighting these guys for gasoline. That's m basically what we're doing. Another distress signal. Let's get there. The signal appears to be coming from an old saloon. There are several old cars in front of that. Look like they haven't been started in a long time. Continue. There is a false stench in the air. The saloon seems to so still, so dead, so forgotten. I think I had been in this event on a previous playthrough, on the first episode. So, go inside. I know this is a trap. The last event this happened, it was a trap. So, on the stage is a young man wearing long jeans, a button-down down tropical shirt, and a tropical hat. He introduces himself as Michael Fritz and begins telling jokes. The larger woman begins serving drinks to the man. Don't drink it! Last time I didn't drink it, and it was a good idea because they were trying to trap us. So I refused the drink. The comedian and the woman suddenly begin to look incredibly worried. Shoot them both! You start blasting the comedian and the overweight women, woman, and before you know what happened, well, if there is an overweight w woman, it could be women. Could consider more than one. Before you know what happened, everything is quiet besides the cheap booze dripping onto the floor. Upon the ins in inspection of the dusty saloon, you don't spot anything of value. So we just stop over there with no use at all. I don't like to stay off road because it is just so slow climbing up those mountains. You hear a voice belowing from your radio. You're, we're going to cut open your heads and eat your brains. You know, I like fighting in convoy. It's one of the most exciting things to do in the game. Obviously, because it's the combat part of it. But uh, I do believe the game should have a system in which 
it automatically detects when you are overpowered and you can easily overcome your opponents so that they wouldn't automatically come to you and shoot you. See it as in other games when they flee. I remember games like Heroes of Might and Magic, in which if you enter combat with a certain group of monsters, sometimes they just run off because they know they're gonna lose. I hope they would do the same thing over here. Let's put the shield up. I should be doing that. And stun this guy and destroy him with a laser. There we go. This will probably finish him, him up. Let's destroy this guy, but let's get him out of there and put the debris over here. Maybe this will be useful. He's moving out. Don't move in front of me. I won't let, let you get in front of me. There we go. Beautiful. This, these guys are taking so much time taking out that guy. No, 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 no. Don't get into the debris. That guy was actually smart. Let's get out of the way as well. You. Finish this guy. Come on. There you go. Beautiful. I just don't have any troubles with the cliffs and things obstructing the way. I'm just getting rid of them so fast that I don't need to stay in combat for too long. Even before facing any cliffs or any events like that in the combat map. The signal appears to be a radar base of operations. You spot several crudely drawn signs warning people to keep out. Some of them depict mines. Enter the supposed minefield to fight the raiders. Nah, let, let's just ignore it. Honestly, I want to get done with the main objective. So let's do that. I can't believe this objective is now in the very border of the map. So that's why I had to travel for so long. You arrive in a shady part of town. Your crew member assures you that the Sasiak milk bar should be around here. Look around. This is for the upper drive stabilizers. So after some time, you find the milk bar you're looking for. A large neon sign sits above the entrance, depicting a naked woman. We've seen this before in another, another playthrough. Enter the Sasiak milk bar or talk to the man. Let's just enter. Let's just enter. If we're not low, nobody can stop us. A youthful looking man with almost cherubic features glares at you from across the room. Talk to the man. Hi, hi, hi there. That sounded like Santa Claus. At least we meet. My name is Andy. My drooks tell me you led that big convoy and are in need of a hyperdrive stabilizer. Yes, I am. It's been a while since I've seen some latchings of the old Walter of Violence, which is where you come in. I consider myself somewhat of a law keeper, so let's dish out some just justice to the three different factions on Omic Prime. How a bite? A bite? How a bite? I'm, I'm gonna bite you. How about I uh, lash you out towards you? I lash out towards you. That's what he means. My reading is just terrible. And he smiles broadly. Oh, that is wonderful. Whilst I applaud your enthusiasm, if you kill me now, you'll never find the upper drive stabilizer. He has a point there. However, I like your thinking. If you want to fight me head on, that can be arranged. Me and my drugs have a private squad just outside of town. Defeat us and you can get the upper drive stabilizer. Sounds good, right? I feel obliged to warn you that my private squadron is not to be thriftful with. I am somewhat of a peacekeeper, you see. Wouldn't want to keep that from you. Bring it on! I remember on another playthrough, I've chose this event. Bring it on. I have went with the evil side of me with this playthrough and I was completely wrecked. But I have trust in my current convoy that we can defeat them. So let's do this! I hope we can do this. This is not even a mini boss. There's not even a boss out here, but this event brings so many enemies. Look at that. Look at that. This is just the start. These two guys are nothing, believe me. You're gonna focus this guy, I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna go over here and focus this guy. I'm gonna bring my three jeeps focusing that guy and hopefully I can bring this one alone with the MCV. Let's try and do that. So let's stun this guy and let's bring on the laser. I was stunned myself, great. Two of my jeeps got stunned. So there's no more enemy vehicles. I actually was expecting to find Look at my MCV! Oh my god. Let's bring the shield up. I, are you crazy, Sparrow? What the hell are you doing? You! Get away from me! Get away from my MCV! Let's keep trying to wreck it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need to bring this guy down or he will bring my MCV down. This is looking very, very bad. Let's stun him. There we go. He's now stunned. And I've already used the laser. 
so I cannot use it in another minute. Oh my god, you gotta move. No, he stunned me! Oh my god! Please, 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 Lord. Help me out, help me out here. No! No! <laughs> I might have just done more than I thought I could handle. Oh my lord. Okay, they can cannot fire at me from there. My MCV is getting wrecked, dude. This guy's getting stunned over and over again. Let's bring him over here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, I'm all... I'm also losing my tank. Holy nuggets. All right, all right, let's keep him there. He's gonna die, he's gonna die, he's gonna die immediately. Let's bring him over there and let's get back over here to safety. He will be wrecked if he stays there, so I'm gonna stun him. You know, he's almost dead anyway. Ah, which is not a huge tactic, but, well, it is what it is worth. Okay, so let's kill this guy, or try to. We don't need to bring- we actually should bring the shields up. Finally, a challenging fight. I see this as a challenging fight. And these guys are not safe. Get back here, and you get back here. Come on, come on, come on. Actually, this is a good place to stay. Yeah, stay here. Maybe, maybe. I can just stun him over here, and I can push him. No, 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 come over here, you silly. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 there's another object in front of us. So let's not do that. I was gonna go to this side and then push him towards this uh, wall, or this pole. That is a pole, right? But uh, it was too late, it was too late. The guy is so fast, look at that. All right, let's try to finish him up. Come on, we can do this. Please stay there. Don't move from there. Great. You're gonna move. No, 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 no. Oh my god, don't go. Oh my god, oh my god. I was almost destroying my own jeep. Oh my god. This was intense. This was probably the most hard fight I've found so far in the game. Other than the final boss. After bossing Andy's final vehicle, you wait for him to crawl out of the wreck. He approaches your convoy with laughing loudly, despite being covered in blood and bruises. This guy is kind of cray cray. Amazing! That was great! Well fought! Oh my brother, well fought! Ask about the upper drive stabilizer. I had not forgotten! Arrangements have been made and it is en route to this location as we speak. Thanks for this little fight, I haven't felt this alive in years! Consider yourself a friend of Andy and his droogs. This is amazing! The guy just lost, he's covered in blood, but he loves a good fight, so we gave him a good fight and he's gonna give us the stabilizer. After a while, a transport vehicle approaches your location and delivers the upper drive stabilizer. Load up! Let's get out of here. This was interesting, but the thing is, the nearest camp should be quite far. Actually, it's not. I, I thought it was farther away, so let's try to get there. And not getting trouble because I really need repairs. And I should probably go around this mountain. Oh my god. Suddenly, you're surrounded by blinking red lights and radar vehicles rapidly approach you. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. But I trust that these guys are not gonna be that hard. Okay, someone is putting out mines. Okay, there's actually quite a lot of them. So, you need to survive this. This guy's almost dying. So you're gonna go over here, focus this guy, you're gonna focus this one. Let's see what else can we do over here. Let's stun this guy. Bam. And let's use the laser with this guy. Try to get rid of him. Okay, this guy should really move over here. Come on. And focus that guy if you can. There we go. This is working so far. This guy is getting on the mines, but I think I prefer these guys to get on the mines rather than the MCV. Even though the MCV has a lot of HP. So yeah, let's try to protect that jeep instead. They are focusing this guy so much. Because they know they can destroy him with a couple shots. Okay, so that guy is almost dead, so let's focus this one. Let's bring the shields up because of the mines. There we go, that should protect me from the mines, right? You're gonna go back over here. You are gonna focus this guy. You gotta get rid of that guy fast or you'll die soon as well okay, everything is looking decent considering that my convoy is pretty much done with I cannot go for one or two more fights or I'm done with all right you finish this guy come on you two get back over here you 
Be careful with the mines. So you gotta go back here. We don't want you to be hit by the mines. There you go. Beautiful. That guy got stunned on the mine. Good lord. You are dumb. Alright. And he's getting on the mine himself again. Which finished him up. And I don't need to move my vehicles anymore because this fight just ended. Take the loot. Okay. Let's wish for no more fights because this is looking very dangerous. We have a camp in 60 kilometers. 50. Come on. We can do this. I see the road, which is good. I'm going to increase my speed. Actually, don't. no need. No need. Because the camp is just over here. Ah, oh, man, we have so many mats that it would be just a shame if I would lose any of my vehicles. Because, you know, then I would have money and I couldn't spend it anywhere. So let's repair my vehicles. Awesome. And maybe now I can get some more stuff. I have some turrets over here, which I could use. Let's see how good they are. This is a shield, but it's only level 1. I don't need a level 1 shield, do I? This is worth 15 materials. This one is worth 22. You know, it's it's not a... You should really know the stats and act accordingly. But uh, you can also judge the value of the turrets by watching their their price. Medium railgun. 8.3 DPS. Wow, this might be worth it. This might actually be worth it. Not the best damage, but it ignores shields. Oh, this is cool. Let's put it up. Let's put it up on this guy. Because this one already has the ramming. This one has no defense. Let's see, he has a light MG. I need to improve the turrets on my two small jeeps. The other one already has a decent one. This one, I have a buzz saw over here. I'm not sure if you can watch it because of the webcam. This one is a chainsaw. So between a buzz saw and a chainsaw, I think I prefer to have the buzz saw because it is more balanced. Let's see what this guy is selling. I would wish to see if I can get a fourth vehicle or not, but this shop is not selling any any new vehicles. So let's see. I have here a mine layer. I could go with that. I'm going to go with the mine layer just because I have that slot on my MCV. And I have a huge amount of money right now. I have 200 mats, which should allow me to have a good banking account right now. So without anything to do, I guess I'm just going to repair to the fullest all my schnizzle over here. And we're done for. Uh, should we really buy more gasoline? I don't think so. We should. We, we should improve the stats. That's something we can do. And I was almost forgetting. So let's improve my MCV's health twice and the armor. Beautiful. And the mine guard, why not? It, that will increase its... Uh, resistance as well and its survivability and let's increase some of my vehicle stats as well something like the handling and the health on this guy beautiful i went from 200 mats to completely broke state either way ladies and gentlemen i hope you have enjoyed this episode this one had a huge very intense fight i hope you have enjoyed that for the next one i am gonna go let's see I could deliver the stabilizers to the Mercury chip already. But I have some more other objectives uh, very nearby. My name is Asparo Genia. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next Convoy episode. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching, everyone. If you are looking for more, feel free to check these suggestions. As a reminder, if you're looking into buying games, consider using my G2A ref link in the description of this video. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you on the next one. And remember, stay above the waters.